Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We're gonna take a look at Clue. I was gonna try to do like a how to play because the instructions seem short. Seem pretty short. But reading them, I don't know. Maybe it's just not clicking today or what. But so instead, we're just gonna look at the the product itself and the cards and the art. Here's some of the stuff that comes in the Clue card box. We have these extra cards for an advanced game. So it's just a couple more weapons and looks like a couple more rooms. So I guess make it a little bit longer or worse, depending on your view. That's your standard cast of characters for Clue. Miss Peacock, a little blurbs about each one. Professor Plum, Miss Scarlet. Dr. Orchid, Mr. Green, and Colonel Mustard. So you'll pick a character, or your character for the game, and then you'll get like 12 cards for your, your initial setup. It'll have to do with each one of these uh, little symbols, depending on which one you have. You'll get all cameras, or you'll get all like hats, and the suspects will be in front of you. It will look like... this and also comes with a couple of reference cards what to do on your turn about you know accusations all that stuff so the art's pretty good that's it so the character cards you have the rooms in the mansion billiard kitchen dining room then you have the weapons knife rope and knife rope and candlestick so okay, some of that these evidence so at the start of the game you're gonna put the room cards under evidence stuff I'm sorry not you take these see I'm already confused you take these all evidence rooms put them face down you take the weapons, evidence, face down, and all your suspects, face down. Shuffle them up, each one. You take this true crime card. Take one of each pile that you've shuffled thoroughly, of course. Put it down here. So that's the crime. This goes on top. These go out of play. And then, so there'll be three to four players, so you need at least three. And then play will kick in. You'll do these things here. Uh, asking, that's a player on your left. These are the same, so I'm going to both these out. How about any two items you think were involved in the crime? And then answering, if you have an evidence card that matches one of the items, show it to the asker. Keep it secret from everyone else. If you have both items, choose one to show. If you have neither, the asker poses the question to the next player. Eliminating any evidence cards you see in, is not part of the crime. Put this matching case file card in your cleared pile. So, they'll go over that in the instructions, I guess. So, it seems a little messy to me. And I played the original clue card game. comes in a green box. Uh, art's a little bit different. I think the art, this one's like the new Clue board game art and also the Steam um, video game uses, I believe, the same art, which is fine. It's art, it's good, good looking art, I guess. You can definitely tell what everything is. But both games, uh, this one might seem a little worse since there's a, the old one has a two player variant. Not that it was any good, but it at least has the, uh, the ability to play two player. But if you're a big Clue fan, maybe, five bucks I don't know if we would see this to the table more than maybe once just to see how it plays and by the looks of it, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that much actual fun and you know you have the honor system we're asking each player so on and so on going to the accusing 
We have three accused cards face down in front of you. Pick up the cards. Do you match your accused cards? Congrats, you win. <coughs> well, okay, so if you don't match, sorry you lose. Don't show you any cards. Stay in the game, but you can't. You can only answer questions. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I really have to play through it with people to see how it really is. It doesn't seem very good, though. But anyway, at least it wasn't very expensive. Five bucks. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.